did you know that there is an alternative for aging treatments like Botox and fillers? Our next guest is the founder of Luminous Face Yoga, and she believes our hands are our greatest tool for beauty. We just need to learn how to use them. So please welcome face yoga instructor, Philippa Mitchell. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Hey, hey. Yes, thanks for being here. So you're a face yoga instructor. Can you tell our audience what that means and how you got into it? <laughs> sure. Um, I understand it sounds a little bit kooky if you haven't heard of face yoga before, but basically it's actually rooted in ancient Indian and Chinese uh, healing rituals. So actually a lot of the techniques have been around in some way, shape or form for centuries. Um, and really what it is, is it's a natural approach to looking and feeling as good as you can at every age and stage of your life. Um, face yoga comprises uh, face exercise, face massage, relaxation, and then general sort of lifetime, lifestyle um, habits. And basically, it's just, you know, it's a funny thing because we all accept that you go to the gym and you work out your bodies and you work out the muscles in your body um, and you get results. So why do we neglect the muscles in our face? Um, and so that's what it's really founded on. Um, people do always ask me about how I got into face yoga and it was a deeply personal journey for me. I was uh, sort of just turned 30 and a chronic overexpressor. I Every time I caught myself in the mirror, I realized that my eyebrows were up here. I was creating lines and wrinkles in my forehead. And I was just getting really concerned about how that was gonna look in a few more years time. And I just knew that Botox wasn't for me. Um, personal choice, just not what I wanted to do. And then I came across face yoga and trained to be a practitioner, fell in love with it, was blown away by my own results. And I thought, people need to know about this. So I then um, founded Luminous Face Yoga because I thought, you know, let's tell everybody that there is a genuine alternative to Botox and fillers and, um, and just looking amazing naturally. Yeah, I, I gotta tell you, like whenever someone talks to me in a British accent, I'm like, they know what they're talking yeah. about. <laughs> this has gotta be true. <laughs> so what changes will we see from face yoga and how long does it take to usually see a difference? So genuinely, any um, concerns that you might have about your face from premature aging can be significantly improved by face yoga. So, you know, we're doing things like stimulating collagen naturally, stimulating blood flow to Whoa. feed the skin with uh, oxygen and nutrients. We are essentially uh, training the muscles not to overexpress and strengthening them. So you're lifting, toning your face, you're smoothing out lines and wrinkles, and you're brightening your complexion. Everybody is different, so you know you, you couldn't say, oh, do it for two weeks and you will certainly get these results. Everybody's face is different, but what people typically notice is that you know, if you, if you commit to the practice, you will, after a couple of weeks, people are gonna start saying, what are you doing? Your complexion is glowing, you're beginning to look really quite healthy. Um, give it a couple more months and you're gonna start to notice the reduction in lines and wrinkles. You're gonna start to notice the more lifted look um, to your face. Um, That's what yeah, we gotta so, do yeah. a couple. Yeah, can we see it? Can, can you teach us some? I'm already kind of pretending to know what to do. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start with a forehead exercise. So we'll do it together. Okay. So this <laughs> exercise is is genuinely natural Botox. So if you do this really regularly, um, you will stop overexpressing. So you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna put them either side of your forehead and you're gonna create tension. Pull your brows, so pulling your eyebrows apart. So you're not going up, you're going outwards. And you're going to widen your eyes as much as you can. Try and keep your <laughs> shoulders down. <laughs> no, not quite. No, so, so pulling sideways, not up. Got you it. don't want to be creating lines and wrinkles. And then you widen the eyes and release. Okay? I can't and then we're going to do that again. Up. Let's try it again. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm what ready. we're doing is we're using our hands as resistance weights <laughs> and we are widening the eyes and showing is this the a forehead. Good... Oh, I kind of feel it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got it, Al? A little bit. I feel that when she said resistance, okay. I feel the resistance. Yeah, I feel my I neck doing that, right? And then you let it go. Okay, and then let it go. Okay. So you'll find if you do that really regularly, you'll stop overexpressing oh. because you'll realize that you can open your eyes with that wide without always creating the lines and wrinkles oh. in the forehead. Oh, um, smart. So it's a really, really good. Huh technique so i'm we now going to take you more. through another exercise yeah. okay. 
Okay, so this one we're going to do is for crow's feet. So those little lines and wrinkles that yep. we get as we age, um, you know, people often you know, choose to, to do Botox or, or you know, and that's, uh, that's a choice, but there is another way. So you can do this exercise. This is one of a few things that we do for crow's feet. So you're going to take your index finger and your middle finger and you're going to put the middle finger on your eyebrow and you're going to put the uh, index finger just where your eye starts. Okay. So now you're going to look up, and what I want you to do is raise the lower lid up until you feel a little shake to show that you've engaged that those eye muscles, the orbicularis <laughs> oculi eye muscle. When you feel that shake, you just let it go, okay? So that little shake shows that you are working those <laughs> eye muscles. <laughs> when you first start oh with face God. yoga, you will find oh, it entertaining. You look insane. When you start to get results, you will find it a lot less funny, I promise. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that one more time. Okay, so your fingers in place. Oh, that feels good. Looking up. It does. Yeah, it feels yeah. good. I just feel like we made a bunch of memes for ourselves. <laughs> okay. This feels good. I think we're out of time. <laughs> we're out of time. I'm so sorry, we're out oh, of time. That was good. I, that was really wonderful. Oh. Thank oh. you. Thank you, Philippa. No worries. I'm glad yes. you enjoyed it. DBL Nation. Philippa is based in the UK, but you can still visit LuminousFaceYoga.com for our on-demand programs and routines, as well as live classes and a community. Thank you again. That was lovely. That we'll was be right great. back. Really good. Thank you. No. Thanks very much. <laughs>